Hey guys and girls, welcome back to some death mark. Ugh, I quickly lift my head and rub my eyes. My vision slowly comes back. This is an intersection in the underground shelter. Looks like we were drained out with the water and flushed down a pipe. We were lucky. I very nearly breathe a sigh of relief. But then I remember Hiro. Hiro. Th that's right. Where's Hiro? No need to be so worried. <laughs> so it's you. It's been a while, you sneaky intruder. It's that old man I met. It's that old man I met in the passageway beneath the manhole street. I tried to ask him about Hiru, but... Ugh. Uh. My jaw is nearly locked and my voice is gone. Don't try to talk just yet. The water here comes straight from the T Mountain Range, so it's deadly cold. You were submerged in it for near an hour, so you'll be slurring your words for a while. Relax, relax, your friend's fine. So you, uh, got somewhere to go back to? Uh, I nod as I groan. The old man's face brightens like the sun. Well, that's great. Not that I'm demanding a reward for saving you or anything, but I'm pretty darn hungry. The man eyes me, his smile sharp.
We get in the car, and even though it's the wrong season for it, I turn the heat on full blast. We dry off with towels and the like, but it doesn't stop our shivering for a long time. While this is going on, the old man... Prove it's hot! Can I open a window? He's blatantly fanning himself in front of us. Okay, yes, in a way, we owe him our lives, but even so, he's being a pain. Hang in there a little while longer. Hiru shudders. We're about to freeze, you know. It was an honest question, and it probably sucks for him, but we still keep the car like a sauna. After driving like that for a while, our teeth finally stop chattering. The man's name is Banshee Ito. That's how he introduced himself. That obviously isn't his real name. As he sits next to me, Banshee gives off a savory smell like freshly baked bread. It kind of cheers me up, or at least it does for a few moments, until I realize it's that stench of dried filth. So, Banshee, what were you doing in a place like that? Banshee remains silent. Are you listening to me? Don't fill up to talking yet. I'll tell you in exchange for food. I shouldn't be surprised. Life's rough. Wait, that should be my question. What were you two doing down there? It's a long story. I summarize everything we knew. We know. About spirits and the mark until I catch up to when we met him in the underground shelter. Hmm. So that's how it is. He nods vigorously to himself. Do you really understand any of that? Hidu, do you really understand any of that? Hidu's doubts are reasonable, but Banshee waves a hand dismissively.
course I do. Who do you think I am? A terrible grudge is mucking up that underground shelter. And you guys are wrapped up in it now. story suddenly sounds fishy. A grudge. Banshee, do you know what happened down there? I said I'm not talking about that yet. I was born into a noble family, so I've always had the ability to see things others can't. I stake my name Banshee Ito on it, so you can trust me. There's a terrible grudge swirling there, and you've gotten swept up in it. He's got nothing to base his claims on, but I get the feeling he's on the right track. In that case, oh noble Lord Banshee, would you tell us? How do we overcome that whirlpool? Banshee replies with a magnanimous flourish. That should be obvious. Whirlpools always have a center. We've got to find that. The center. That swirling grudge in the spirit thing, is that what you called it? Is that what you called it? The birth of the spirit, the heart of the curse. Something like that should be left within their, their swirling grudge. If you look for that, I'm sure then he trails off. He gazes at the dark road, his mouth hanging open. It's like he's run out of batteries. Then what? What will happen? The black sky simply goes on forever before Banshee's eyes. Oh, that reminds me, Yashiki. Banshee calls out as soon as we enter the garage. Take this. Just a little symbol of our friendship. Got an underground shelter key. Is this a key from the underground shelter? Mm-hmm. I found it when I was popping in and out from that place I held on to. I held on to it. But I'll lend it to you for now, Yashiki. He just pickled it. He just picked it up. Why is he acting like it's a favor? But I have no reason to refuse him. Thanks. I'll borrow it. Diamond walks up to us. Hey, you came back safely. Were you able to learn anything? Hiru butts in before I can speak. Wait just a minute. Don't tell me. You aren't going to believe that old man's story, are you? He's fishy. Wow, that's rude. If you want my opinion, a snotty punk like you should be trusted even less. Of course, Yashiki. You believe me, right? <clears throat> of course. <laughs> That's my good pal, Yashiki, for you. Hey, now. You feeling okay in the head? Anyway, changing the subject. Good grief. Can we just move on from talking about this? Mm. Banshee, you're hungry, right? Hungry. The dining room should have something. Woo, food, food! Banshee bolts out of the garage and vanishes into the mansion. Diamond gives me an exasperated look. Yashiki, it seems you've got another troublemaker on your hands. To appease the starving Banshee, I offer him some cup noodles and sweet buns. 
the epitome of hunger, he greedily began scarfing it down like a starving dog. That was enough for ten people. He devours, devours all of it. And I'm reminded of a high power vacuum cleaner. Excellent. I haven't been this full in forever. Good for you. Now answer our questions. What were you doing down there? Well, there's that's an easy one, because it's my home. What? Been living there ever since I found found it ten years ago. It's not too shabby a place. Keep keep me out of the rain and no damn brats messing with me. Though it gets a mite cold in winter. I don't know how to respond to that. Hiru and Diamond seem to be the same. It was a paradise for me, because no one knows about it. Until a weirdo showed up six months ago. Some woman doused in perfume. It was winter, and I, I don't like stirring up trouble, so I just stayed away. That must have been Zukawa. I nod that in my thought as well. That was a month ago. I figured she must have up and left, so I went back. But now there's something stranger. Which was? A damn walking Buddha statue. I know I'm pretty out there, but even I was shocked by that. I even got this weird scar. Oh, he's got a death mark. Banshee removed the scarf, revealing the mark on his neck. You may not believe this, but that statue gave you that scar. I figured it was the cannon soldier after all. The cannon soldier? How do you know that name? Some document I saw had it. It was an old plan to make a Buddha statue move with supernatural powers. A heavenly Buddha project weapon. But are you nuts? Spirit power making something move? That's insane. Now, now, Hiru. Calm down. So those documents that you found, are they still around? Nope. I burnt them for warmth. I had a delicious roasted potato, too. <laughs> How could you? Maybe take your own advice, Dr. Diamond. Our measure of common our measure of common sense seems to be a rather different seems to be rather different than this strange old man. It's fine. My noggin works different from most people's. I got it all memorized. As you say, just tell us. We need to know about the project. The Heavenly Buddha project was the pet project of some general at the end of the war. So they built that shelter for it. Ta-da! The 13th Army Engineering Lab. To make the cannon soldier a thing, they did test on Buddha statues. They were bought from some shrine or something somewhere. That must be a shrine. They did a bunch of stuff to infuse the statue with spiritual power. There was a monk from T Mountains, spiritual treasures from all over. But nobody thought anything actually come from it. project was just an excuse to keep that fanatical general busy. At least it was supposed to be. But one day the statue started moving. It went berserk throughout the lab and went crazy on a ton of people. The bloodstains and old corpses in the shelter are probably the victim. Some people survived, but they had red bite-like marks on them. Ah, oh, the death marks thing went and wrecked the place. Then it stopped and never moved again. No one knows what even triggered it. <clears throat> That's about everything it said. Hiru and Diamond are as white as a sheet. I probably am too. It's a hard story to believe, but... He has no reason to lie to us. I think he speaks the truth. What? Are you kidding me? A statue going around killing people and cursing them? Impossible. Then how do you explain the mark on his neck? 
logic would dictate that the moving statue he saw was the cannon soldier. The dormant soldier suddenly starts moving after 50 years. That might be the cause of mine and Hiru's mark. What if you flip that, though? Both of your grandpas got the mark from the cannon soldier. When the soldier stopped moving, their marks disappeared. But with it, started up again. You got them because you're their descendants. If that's true, then the children inherited their parents' fate. Hiru can't seem to muster up any kind of counter-argument. I think she's in shock. I want to ask you something, old man. You say the cannon soldier stopped moving 50 years ago. But why? Uh, I think it was some spiritual person used a thingamajig to do something. So you have no idea. It's the most important part. Try to remember. Mm, it's not that easy, son. The mark might have made me forget. Taking his age into account, it's more likely it just completely slipped his mind. It seems we must defeat the cannon soldier to be free of our marks. We'll have to figure it out on our own. If he can't be of more help. You seem a pro at this, Yashiki. We'll be relying on you. I don't have spiritual powers or anything. But you've already faced down four different spirits, haven't you? A normal person wouldn't have survived. <laughs> now that he says it, I guess he's right. I have been hearing a mysterious voice a few times and having weird premonitions. I even caught myself unconsciously talking when we were down in the shelter. So what are you folks gonna do now? Good question. We need to do something about that to get rid of your marks. If I'm descended from someone on the project, then mine might disappear too. I guess we're going back in, then. Hiru's still kind of sulking, but she's at least recovered from her shock. We all share the same fate. It's too late to try to run away. Yep. You should find it there. The heart of everything that's causing the curse. You need that to stop the cannon soldier. That's what my gut's telling me. What are you going to do, then? I'm full now, so I was gonna go take a nap in that park nearby. I'll sit and wait until you fellas do something about that soldier. Wait just a minute, you old fart. Didn't we just say that it's too late to run away? Okay, okay, I get it. Well, you folks did feed me, so I guess I can help you. So I think now if I go this way, I should be able to open this, right? Yay. Okay. Well, 
There's a single out of place Buddha statue. Its head has been cut off. It's a Buddha statue. The headless Buddha statue is covered in dust. There's a talisman stuck to the neck as if it's taking the place of the missing head. When I pick up the worn out talisman, I feel warmth flowing through me. Oh, soul power. Okay. Oh, look at all those heads. What are these doing here? The box is packed with carelessly tossed Buddha statue heads. A real, actual head can clearly be seen among them. Yeah, you, the skeleton head there. It's a dry. It's dry and mummified, but going by their long hair, it's probably female. Most likely, one of the experiment's victims. Huh, so this is where it was. Let's take it and bring it to its owner. I thought you'd say that. Oh, oh just, just kidding. <laughs> I feel Hidu's gaze on me. I can only carry one head. I, I need to choose which one to take. Take the woman's. Because they said bring it to an owner, right? So I think that's... Only right. The hell was that? There was another locked door up here, I think. If I'm remembering correctly. I don't know if we have to use it on that. We're gonna try, though. A victory chant coming from the other side of the intersection. Keep going. The sh I shrug and keep moving forward. I take one step forward and. Oh, an electric current runs through my body and my muscles seize up. Uh oh. Live or die moment. You layabouts, what are you doing there? You have time to be loafing around, do you? Recite this base of slogans at once. Cheer for the final battle in the homeland. 100 million honorable deaths. Luxuries the enemy give. I'm gonna go with this one. A. One more. Declare our resolve to strike back with the air raids. We won't lose even if our country is reduced to ashes. Show your determination. The land of the gods is indestructible. Suppress your desire until we win. This one sounds a little bit more not weird. They all sound weird, though. Our army has fought bravely from the southern tropics to the northern arctics. But the tide still hasn't turned in our favor. What do you think? Can we win this crusade? Kamikaze wins below. You're pretty promising for a new recruit. Keep a, keep a good eye on the squad. Farewell. Let's go left. Oh. Body. Looks like the person was crushed to death. In the operating room, 
in the southern section. But on this table is... It's a corpse. With a severed head. No surprise. A headless corpse is lying there. That stupid chainsaw. <laughs> I swear to gosh. It's a rusted filling ca filing cabinet. Oh, I thought I could, like, pry it with the sword, maybe. Alright, this... A headless corpse is lying on the top of the operating table. The head I picked up earlier might fit on this corpse. Yes. I try attaching the human head. The human head fits the severed neck perfectly. The world suddenly distorts. Uh-oh. What's happening? Oh, no. Oh, that's horrible. A horrific scene appears before my eyes. This is... The woman on the operating table? Oh, God, her arm... Ugh. Some kind of experiment is being performed on her. I must be seeing the past. Oh, look at this, dude. The sound triggers a change in view. Men in a lab coat... In lab coats hold surgical tools. But they don't look like they're alive. The ghost of the researchers seem to be stuck forever in the nightmare of the past. I can hear the men whisper from my left side. Hey, she's awake. Don't worry, she'll be dead soon anyway. True enough. Then something else interrupts. You. This time it's a cold whisper from my right. You can hear me, can't you? Don't be afraid. Soon. Soon what? What is he talking to me? The voice on my right cuts off, and I can hear the men in lab coats again. Uh oh. Hey, woman, which of these tools do you want us to use to cut your neck? This is it for you, so we'll let you decide. Wasn't they talking about something about a chisel? I, I remember reading the note or something. It's something to do with a chisel. Good answer. You're pretty smart. Unfortunately, you'll soon be saying goodbye to that clever head of yours. Dan, they chiseled her head off. It's a valuable material. We'll cut it off nicely. Evil bastards. Shut up. You're just like a pig. This is why I hate handling women. Be patient. We finally found a clue. Not yet. Wait. Now I'll give you power. The whisper from my right falls silent. Yeah, I never dreamed breaking from our usual method would go so well. Hey, pig, do you understand? Do you know the correct combination of head and body for the heavenly Buddha? Female he head and male body. Precisely, and that's why we need your head. Glad gladly offer it up for the sake of our beloved country. Then was she like brainwashed too? The problem is the soul freshness. Regardless of refrigeration, it's all up to the quality of the cut. Though there are only so many available methods, this is all the equipment we have. Then to the freezer. The voices on the left cut out. A determined voice echoes in my right ear. Hate, 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 hate this whole world. Tear it to pieces. The power to do that, I'll give it all to you. In the place where you hear me now. Hate them, destroy them, understand? Is it her? Is she speaking to me from like the past or something? I'm really curious. Good. Destroy them. When I return to my senses, I'm standing beside the operating table. Just then, something slides out of the hand of the corpse on the table. Hey, got a key. What? I just saw... No, more importantly, 
the voice that kept speaking from my right side. Who was that? Y you don't look so good. Did you see something weird again? Yeah, actually. I explained to Hiru what I just saw. A horrible tragedy happened here in the past. It's possible that whatever triggered it might have been whoever that voice belonged to. D who cares about that? Erasing the mark is more important right now. Well, I'm not sure about that part, but... Hiru's right. This isn't helping us accomplish our goal. We need to search for whatever gave birth to the spirit. Let's keep looking. That small key I just found might belong to the cabin in here. They don't seem to be acting differently at all. Death should be slowly closing in on us. But it seems we still have some time. What's important right now is making sure we survive. the key. I open the door using the small key. Inside is an old gun and some research records. Suddenly berserk, severe damage, sutra chanting, complete insanity. Only those who made themselves deaf managed to remain sane. Half spiritualized, like disposal that needs sacred object, attack. Destroy human head. The heart of all this need to destroy human head. That's all it says. Alright, so we got some notes on, I guess, the boss fight to come, probably, there. Locked. There's a lot of hands there. Upon closer look, it's countless handprints. But the keyhole is perfectly fine. I could open the door if I had the key. I open the door with the underground shelter key. Inside the room. Uh oh. are a number of Buddha statues. They're all missing their heads. It seems this is where they stored all the various statues they gathered through theft or donation. It, it feels like something's here. Maybe this is where the heart of the curse of, or the source of the spirit is. I brace myself for input from the other me. But it doesn't seem like that's happening. Does that mean I should already know? The statue with its head cut off is lying pitifully on the floor. It's a statue that looks like a divine general. It has the armor from the Tang Dynasty. It held a weapon in its left hand. a vice Ravana statue. It's missing its head. It's a statue with its head cut off. It seems to be holding some kind of Buddhist ritual implement. It's a statue that seems to be a divine general. Its head has been severed. I think that's everyone, right? It's devoid of anything that looks like a keyhole, but the box won't open. Oh, sorry about that, guys. statue that looks like a Vidyaraja or something. 
I search all the statues. Every statue here has a male body. Suddenly, there's the sound of movement from within the box. I managed to open the box. Sheets of white paper are inside. They seem to be a multitude of talismans. Was something sealed here? Hiru peers into the box beside me. So, was something in there? Well, uh, my voice sounds distant. The cause of the curse was birth. What birthed the spirit? There's nothing like that here. No, there's nothing here. But what do you mean? Then what's that in your hand? Hidu is right. It's not true that there's nothing inside. There is one thing. I never would have expected something like this. Something that doesn't belong here. A box sealed by talismans has enshrined a... Western-style cushion. Hidu sighs, disappointed. Guess we're out of luck. No way this thing gave birth to a spirit. True. But the state of this room and the voice... Something important was definitely sealed up in this place. Yet, there's nothing here. Then the thing we're searching for... Where the hell did it go? A long silence falls between us. It is then that a now familiar pain flares up. Oh no, the mark. It's time. It immediately has died a deep crimson. Death is only a few minutes away. Ugh, what's going on? Is death closing in on, all, on us all of a sudden? No, it's... The spirit is here. Uh-oh. Where is it? Can we see it? What we're facing? Oh my god! That was... I didn't expect it to come from the top. A low sutra chant hum trembles in the air. It feels like my whole body is numb. Maybe because of that hum. Oh yeah, they did say that people survived by uh, basically like going uh, going. Uh, I, I I don't know the tone the term, but it's like closing your ears. Use the Suzu bells, maybe? I don't know. Yashiki shoots the gun with blanks. I grab the gun, but I can't control my hand. It turns the gun toward my head and fires. The blank explodes. My consciousness fades. There's a strong ringing in my ears. Oh! So he can't hear it, right? And it's preventing me from hearing the Sutra chant. Hiru is clutching their head like they can't hear anything either. The numbness has faded. Hideo shakes the Suzu bell. Yells, making my heart quench. Hiru was injured. Oh, ow. Don't like you. It's getting closer. Okay. Um, try the palm pistol, maybe. I feel like the bells are going to be something to help. The spirit fades and becomes intangible. Cannon soldiers wounded. The bells worked. The spirit turned solid again. 
Canon soldier yells, making my heart quench. Ow. Okay. Um, use the short sword. Uh, and use the bells. Yashiki shoots the ranged short sword's blade. Canon soldier is wounded. The spirit fades and becomes intangible. So we're using the bell to bring her back into existence. The spirit turns solid again. Ooh, we are dying. Oh, she's like right in our face. Ah, her f oh, she's nasty looking. Uh, use the army sword. Hit her with the bells. Go. The spirit fades and becomes intangible. The spirit stops. I guess the attack finally worked. Out of nowhere, footsteps approach behind me. A voice yells comically, and whoever it is put their hands on my back. But I can't take my eyes off the spirit before me. Banshee, is that you? What are you doing? Instead of replying, he shoves something into my hand. It's a large chisel with the grips just stained in blood. Th this is... I have found it in that room in the mansion. In that instant, I understand everything. The heart of the curse that we were searching for. The object that gave birth to the spirit. So it was kept in Cujo Mansion? Thanks. I'm going to use it. I grab the chisel and face the spirit. Cannon soldiers weaken. Okay. So we now have a chisel. Uh, it hasn't felt us yet. Let's carve it. Oh god. What do we... Right eye, left eye, between the eyes, right ear, left ear. I'm gonna go right ear. I jab the chisel at its right ear. It stares at me dispassionately. Finally, it smiles and disappears. Hey, I did it. Good ending, right? Because it smiled, I would imagine. Because I could have like hit it somewhere that was painful, but I just don't. I don't think it like was something that would have been worth it. I'm not trying to. I'm doing good endings only. The statue stops moving and collapses. It, it stopped, right? Seems so. I, I don't got the mark anymore, so there's no doubt about it. I still have mine, though. Once again, I'm the only one still cursed. Glad I made it in the nick of time. My legs weren't in such good shape. It would have been over for us. Thanks for saving us, but you know that was pretty reckless. I thought I said it. I thought it's. I thought I said it's dangerous for a group of mark bears to go somewhere haunted. Oh uh, yeah, you did mention something like that when I was eating. Completely slipped my mind. Tell us, old man, what happened at the mansion? I'm not quite sure, but I'll tell you what I know. After you left, I wandered the place looking for something to eat. My mark hurt like hell right by a room. I slipped inside and found a bunch of chisels and things. It must mean that room I found. I was kind of out of it because of the mark at that point, but I noticed one of the chisels was glowing all weird with a dark light. I knew right away that it was hiding some awesome spiritual power. But what made you decide that you had to bring the chisel here? You seemed sure it'd be effective against the cannon soldier. I heard a voice when I picked it up. It reminded me of a lady, sort of. It said, to bring the chisel to you. And that's when it hit me. It was when I'd been looking for. It's what I've been looking for. Oh, that thing you mentioned in the car. The heart of the curse that created the spirit. Exactly, that. So I huffed it over here to give it to you. When I looked through that room before, Yasuoka said that the Kujo family used to create Buddha statues a long time ago. 
It's possible that chisel was used to create the statue that became the cannon soldier. I don't know what the voice was that he heard. Probably something like the mysterious voice that's guided me before. You know, I haven't heard it in a while. And that's what happened. So we heading back to the mansion then, Yashiki? For one, I'm hungry, but I bet the diamond... I bet Diamond's worried, too. I left without saying a word, after all. Yeah. Searching for documents on the mark. Carting all the statues out. It'll take more than a day to do all that. We should go back to the mansion and figure out what to do next. What? We're leaving already? I wanted to examine this place. I glance at the statue fallen to the floor. Sorry, but you'll have to do that another time. Fine. In exchange, not one word about this shelter to anyone. I'm going to study every inch of it. Yeah, yeah. Hey now, this is my home. Can't have you rooting around here. That's just you saying that. You don't legally live here. I'll bring you food, so stop complaining. Much obliged. We return to the concrete passageway. I might be imagining it, but... Feels like the air in here is a little less stagnant than it was before. Because we did it. We climbed up out of the manhole in M. No -sh South Alley. Diamond. Diamond runs up to us, drenched in sweat. He looks even worse than usual. He probably shouldn't have run. <coughs> I, I found you. Hey, old man. Why did you suddenly sprint out of the mansion? My mark is gone now, too. What in the world happened? I had something to give Yashki. Isn't that right, Hiru? I guess. I'd rather not think of the consequences if you hadn't made it in time. I'm not sure I follow, but it seems he really helped you out. Well then, if I must do my investigation on another day, I'll be splitting ways here. Our marks are gone now. Yashiki still has his, his, though. This always happens. I'm used to it. But now I might be able to change that. I finally discovered where the statues stolen from a shrine are. I'm lost, but I'm glad for you. It's thanks to all of you. I'll figure the rest out by myself. You should all return to your regular lives. You're saying we should split up then? You sure you'll be okay? Something will work out eventually. Besides, this is Saya Kujo's dying wish. I want to respect it. Huh. Well, thanks. I'll head back then. I've been missing all those chemical smells from the lab. Good to hear your research is ex good to hear your research is ex exciting. But don't forget your humanity over don't forget your humanity over it and end up like Mrs. Zoo. Like I'd do that. It's not even funny, by the way. Oh yeah, Mr. Yashiki. Whenever you want to get those statues. I'll help out. Until then, see you. I'll be off as well. Honestly, all this has put a strain on me. I'm barely staying upright. Whatever you do, don't collapse on your way home, please. Hey, hey, Yashiki. One day, I'm hoping to let the public know about the underground shelter. For the sake of the wandering souls without a proper burial. I'd like it if you helped with it. See you around. Guess I'll go too. You're not returning to the shelter, are you? I'm not that brave. The soldier's gone, but there's plenty other things down there. I'll give it a few days to settle. So you're still planning on going back? I'm not sure I'd call that a smart move. Comes with living this kind of life. I'll bunker down in a park or under a bridge until things calm down. See ya, Gashiki. 
Bring more food next time, yeah? The former mark bearers have all left. Well, I should probably head to the mansion myself. I've got to decide what to do next. What the hell was that? I hear a voice calling from behind me. I turn to see Banshee in the middle of the road, staring intently at me. What's wrong? I remember now. His eyes are as wide as saucers. I forgot because of the mark, but I, I've met you before. What? What do you mean? Ugh, well, let me think. He scratches his chin. I know his memories are probably all a mess, having just gotten them back, but I don't have time to wait for him. No, uh, yeah. We first met five years ago. And then ten days ago. <laughs> I feel like I've been struck by lightning. I first arrived at Cujo Mansion ten days ago. That means I met him before I lost my memory. I need to know, who in the world am I? I, I couldn't say. I wasn't interested in asking your name, and you didn't give it. Then tell me what you do know. Tell me about myself, please. Hmm, okay. I owe you for the food, so ask. What should I ask about? Let's do five. Let's do ten days ago first. I just seen the cannon soldier, and you can bet I booked it out the manhole. I, I ran into you on the street. Had you treat me to food to celebrate? Thanks for that, by the way. And she's talking about the person I was before I lost my memories. It's weird to hear about myself this way. You mentioned you'd been overseas. You'd only come back recently, about a month ago. <laughs> oh, and that's when I learned of the mark you told me about. It slipped my mind until just now. By that time, was my right arm? Yeah, it had the mark. You were acting all odd, though. You go to remember something, then stumble over the words. The curse was probably in the late stages. In fact, I'd completely forgotten my name and passed a few hours after that. By the by, I've got something to tell you. This here Banshee Ito is a much noble character than regular folk. That's why I led a detached life away from the world's vulgarity. What are you trying to say? I could be crazy desperate, but I'd never shame my dear departed mom or divine providence. You understand? No, you lost me. I'm saying I'd never resort to stealing, even dying of hunger. Here, these are yours. He pulls out a wristwatch and a wallet. Oh, he robbed me. These look like an antique. They're inlaid with subtle designs. You forgot them at the restaurant. Oh. Let me see them. I grab them both and rush to open the wallet. <laughs> but there's no ID inside. There was no driver's license or company card with an ID when you got it don't ask me you said you forgot your old wallet somewhere and lost it it's probably in there oh I look at what else is in the wallet bills coins and a number of familiar business cards Sayakujo spirit healer ah those things you tried to give me one told me to go there if I remembered anything but I gave it back I don't make a habit of carrying useless stuff Sayo Kujo's card was in my pocket when I first arrived at Kujo Mansion. It must have been the one Banshee returned. There's no doubt about it. I lost all my memories after I met Banshee. You showed up at the shelter. Wanted to know about the Heavenly Buddha Project. Gave me food. Huh, actually, you were more focused on the Kujo family than the Cannon Soldier. Why did we talk about them? The head at the time was majorly involved in the project. He was famous for his spiritual power, so the army asked him to help. He loaned them a number of his family's prized sacred treasures. He really zeroed in on one, on that, on that bit. Do you know exactly what the army got? 
Yeah, the shelter had a list. A mirror, a chisel, Buddha statues, cursed objects, and holy talismans. They were all returned to the family. Which means they're all in the mansion now. You kept popping by a few times until one day you just didn't. I only saw you next ten days ago. I've asked everything I want to know. But something's still bugging me. Did I say anything about the mark when you saw me ten days ago? Hmm. Well, I was so focused on eating that I wasn't paying full attention. Are you kidding? Oh yeah, you said the same thing as Hiro about the cannon soldier. There's no way a human head on a statue will make it move. But it did actually move. That's what I thought too. And then you said something strange. You said what happened 50 years wasn't because of the project. It was all because of her. Her. That's not all. You said she gave you the mark. That she loved watching you lose your memories and fear death. You made her kick the bucket once. But she came back to life. You said you needed to do the same thing done 50 years ago. To get rid of her. My heart wants to beat out of my chest. I can feel sweat run down my face. There's no way I can keep calm. Before I lost my memories, I'd known who had cursed me with the mark. Hey, old man! Who she? Did I tell you? I wanted to know too, so I asked. But you couldn't answer me. I don't think you were trying to hide it. You just honestly didn't remember. Was that because of the mark? Well, that's about all I can tell you. Yashiki, we should get going. Go? Where? I'll tell you in your car. I'm real tired of standing. I'd like to sit for a bit. There's no point arguing here. I'll just get it out of him once we're in the car. Nope. The mansion's out of the way. Banshee clamors in the back seat. His heavy scent fills the enclosed space. Ah, I can finally catch my breath. Now then, driver, take us to the forest by H. Castle. I drive down the familiar road. All lights along the way are strangely green. We reach our destination without me having to slow down the car once. The engine chugs along. I feel the wheels of fate turning like those on the car I'm riding in. Ten days ago, I promised. In exchange for you buying me an extra order of almond jelly. If you did forget everything, I'd take you to H Shrine. Sounds like I prepared for everything. But if I was that careful... Why didn't I leave myself a clue? Why prepare if I was just going to forget? Did the curse progress faster than expected so there wasn't time? Or did someone get rid of it? But if I had business at H Shrine, why didn't I go there while I still had my memories? Sound about timing. Waiting for some magic summer cleaning to clear away impurities. Uh, suddenly my old self echoes in my head. I speak the words out loud, slowly, and as realization dawns. The summer purification rites. The rites held at shrines to exorcise evil. On the last day of June, you pass through woven reeds to cleanse yourself. I was trying to use that ritual to exorcise the impurities. Ah, oh, gotcha. Luckily, today's the first of July, so the rites or whatever are done. Should be no problem. Exercise the impurities, huh? What kind of impurities was I trying to cleanse? The more I learn, the less I understand. My previous self is like a complete stranger to me. How many times have I come to this forest? 
The creepy arch and thick trees look the same as always. You know where Etron is, yeah? Lead the way. You've never been there? First I heard of it was ten days ago. Banshee and I push through the vegetation and make our way down the beast trail. We pass under the stone Tory gate. And finally arrive at the desolate H shrine. The few headless Buddha statues that are left shine in the light of the flashlight. So the statues used in the project were stolen from here? Yeah, that's right. Is it really true the statues are somehow connected to the mark? I've considered the possibility that the mark was caused by their divine wrath. But ten days ago... You said what happened. Fifty years ago wasn't because of the project. It was all because of her. This course I've been following this whole time. Then at some point, I had to have been fed some huge lie. But what could it be? A shudder runs through, through me at the thought. It feels like I'm looking into the depths of hell. You said ten days ago that that altar holds something important. Something about needing to keep it here to exercise the impurity. He approaches the small altar and puts his hand on the sliding door. Huh? What's going on here? The thing's empty. Don't ask me. It was already gone when I was here earlier. Well, that's darn weird. You said there was a cloth pouch. What was inside? A small fist-sized statue. A Nenji Butsu or something. It was the Go Shintai from the shrine. The Gojo... The, the Kujo had used it in the shelter to stop the mess 50 years ago. And again, it's the Kujo. They must have strong ties to the mark. Well, this is about all I can do for you. At least it was enough to pay off the dessert. We should head back, son. Right. I'm still unsure about what my old self was thinking, but to clear whatever plan I had didn't work. Where did the Nenji Butso go? On the way back, I feel reluctant to go. I keep turning to look forward toward the shrine. Each time I do, Banshee hurries me on the on to the forced entrance. Well, this is where we part. You're not going to ride back with me? I'm going to be honest with you. I got a bit car sick on the way here. Flat roads were fine, but the curves and hills did me in. Just got a nice meal, and I'd hate to throw, a, throw it up, so I'll walk back. But it's pretty far from here. Kids are such wimps these days. When I was young, I used to walk across the Himalayas all the time. This ain't nothing. His laugh, is lo his laugh is loud enough for the whole forest to hear. He waves and leaves me alone. Once he's out of sight, I get into the car. Pull out of the deserted parking lot and drive back to the mansion. As I count the street lights passing by, I go over everything Banshee told me. Fifty years ago in the shelter, the cannon soldier went berserk, but it wasn't because of the army's experiments, it was her. The army was una unable to stand up to the threat of her and the soldier, but the Kujo family had used the Nenji Butsu to settle everything. However, she still exists in this time period. She was the one who gave me my mark. Before I lost my memories, I was planning on using the Nenji Butsu like they did before. I left it at Age Shrine so it could be cleansed of its impurities. But somewhere along the line, it went missing. The past me probably couldn't have predicted that would happen. I'm almost back at Kujo Mansion. As my drive comes to an end, I focus on what the most important detail is. That's right. Who she is. 
I have a hunch about her identity, but I can't be sure. And that definitely proves that she was there 50 years ago. She made the cannon soldier move down in the shelter. The Cujo family's head sealed her. That would have brought her to the mansion, the sacred object for the project of which she was one will return to the Cujos. I gripped the steering wheel tighter. If there were any way to defeat her, it just has to be in the mansion. I don't have any solid proof, but the fragments of my memories are whispering to me. The entrance doesn't look any different. Ooh, the look at the mark. My mark burns. The sharp pain nearly brings me to my knees. It seems she has no intention of hiding her presence any longer. In pursuit of the truth. Ooh. All right, I, I think I'm going to end it here. We're about to learn probably who the she is. I'm, I'm thinking it... It, it might have something to do with um, with uh, the doll that was helping us. Because we, we didn't know who that is either, really. And they were making Buddha statues and stuff like that. They were, like, possessed by these things. So maybe they did something that possessed this doll to do something. I don't know. But I know the doll's dead technically. But is it really? I don't know. We'll see. Leave a like, guys. Subscribe to your friend. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.